Yo, Mabuhai, and what's good, guys? Welcome to another Axie Infinity video. Today, we're talking about zero cost energy cards and why you need to be using them on your team. Let's go. All right, guys, so for those of you who do not know what a zero cost energy card is, there's actually three currently in the game right now that is Nemo, Cottontail, and Disguise. These cards are very efficient to use because they cost zero energy, yet they offer one energy gain every time you use them. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the five top reasons why I love zero cost energy cards and why I think everyone should have one of these cards in their arsenal. These cards are very efficient because they cost no energy to use, but will still gain you one energy in the process. But just because you have a zero cost energy card in your lineup already doesn't mean you're going to have a huge advantage over your enemy straight out of the gate. You have to learn how to use your zero cost with timing, synergy, and sometimes even restraint to really master the art of free energy. All right, so the number one reason why I love the zero cost energy card is something I mentioned already, free energy. Who doesn't love free energy, right? But that's just part of the story, guys. I mean, free energy is great but free energy anytime during the match early mid and late game now that's a game changer and that is why free energy anytime during the game is number one on our list because if you're a beginner player using a beginner team most likely all of your energy gain is focused on the front mostly through your tank and if you do have other means of gaining energy with your mid and backliner most likely you'll have to gain that energy through a combo so cards like Nemo, Cottontail, and this guys are really awesome because even though your tank goes down, you'll still have a means to gain energy throughout the whole match, which is a very big advantage you will have over your opponent. All right, number two on the list, I use zero cost energy cards to control and navigate stuns from my enemy. So if you've gone up against a Terminator build Axie lately, then you can understand and relate to the frustration you feel getting stunned by one of these axes sometimes even double stunned right so to help you control and navigate through some of these stuns and even stop wasting cards or damage while you're stunned the zero cost energy card comes in clutch guys so what i like to do is use the zero cost card at the exact moment i know i'm getting stunned so for instance if i know my opponent is going to use a stun card such as chomp I'm going to make sure that my zero cost is the second card I'm using so that if he did in fact use chomp, at least I'm just using a zero cost. I'm not wasting any damage or any energy. And once that stun is over, my other cards are going to follow up in the back and continue where the damage left off. All right, the third reason why I love these cards so much is because I can destroy enemies in last stand and gain one energy in the process. So have you ever come across enemies who use their Axie in last stand as a shield while they build up their energy behind them? Yeah, a lot of us can relate. So a good counter to this would be to use one zero cost energy card to take away one tick and gain some energy in the meantime. This will make sure that you're not wasting cards on the last stand Axie. And even if your opponent did decide to attack you while using this card, at least it didn't cost you any energy and you can set up for your counter move on the next round. All right, reason number four is that these zero cost cards can still be used in a combo. Now it's definitely not the most efficient card to use in a combo, but at least you have that option. And some of these cards, such as Nemo and Leafbug, offer some sort of damage as well. Bounding off your combo as the final card may just be enough to destroy your enemy. Alright, now the fifth and final reason why I love zero cost energy cards is because they will force your enemy to play faster if they know you have a zero cost in your lineup. When I ever get in a 1v1 situation where my opponent has some sort of energy gain and I'm just using the two energy that I get after every round, I pretty much want to cry because I know every round I'll have two and he'll have three and they are just going to slowly chip away at my health because they have that one extra energy advantage. You don't want to be in this situation and your opponent also doesn't want to be in this situation. So if they see you have a zero cost in your lineup, maybe in your back lane or mid laner, they're going to be forced to play a faster game because they don't want to match up with you in the later rounds and you can use this to your advantage if you know how. Alright guys, those were the top five 
reasons why I think everyone should have a zero cost energy card in their lineup. But if you don't have one and don't plan on using one in the near future, at least you know how to handle your opponents who are using these in their current lineup. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot shorter than my previous videos. I don't know. Do you guys prefer the shorter videos or the longer videos? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful and haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing down below. I'm trying to make the best Axie content out there, especially for you new beginners. And I appreciate all the love and support I've received so far. You guys are awesome. Until next video, guys, happy farming. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.